All right, driving to the Asheville outlets. Going to set up for the Blue Ridge Parkway Tesla drive. Come on. Why am I so far away from the side? All right, so that has slowed down. Instead of getting over like it used to, it just slowed way down to a stop. And what is it doing? Okay, it went way over to the side here. Yeah, that's super jerky. All right, I'm in the middle of the road. It was actually going over to the left. Yeah, look, it's... All right, so now I'm at my stop. Look, I'm on the left side of the road. All right, so I removed that first stop. Come on, get, okay. Got over, no. It just tried to turn toward that car. It, now it's going right back to the middle again. This is just, it's really bad behavior. You don't want to be in the middle of the road on a two-way road just because there aren't any markings. And this is new behavior. And so you can see here, the car is not over far enough for them to turn. All right. So I don't know if you can see on the camera, but little chip that I had from two years ago over on the side of my windshield has decided to spread today. So that's great. And it's not getting over far enough. People have to come across the yellow line going the other direction um, because of the parked cars. And so you, you're supposed to, on this side, um, get to the right of the lane so they can get through. So we'll see how it does here. Looks like this car is going to pull out. Okay, that was okay. And we're still going toward the center line with traffic coming on a narrow road. All right, so this is blind. I, I can't see where the lines are going across. Probably can from the top camera. All right, it did better there than the last time I went that direction. The last time it tried to drive right over the curb um, so that was better. It adjusted itself as it went through the intersection. Still, it should have memory of where the road exists across there and automatically drive to it. Um, I keep saying that the car needs local memory for those kinds of things. It doesn't need to adjust itself every time. All right, so here I need to be to the left. I'm turning left, so it needs to stay to the left of the lane. That way people who want to go right can still get over. All right, the car's not slowing down. There are, um, police cars with flashing lights, which indicates that you should slow down. There's a grand opening of this new park. It's 
uh, that is the police chief that I waved to. He is actively looking into buying a Tesla for the police department. I let him drive our Model Y back in December, and uh, I think he was pretty impressed. disengage here because I do not want to be behind this dump truck. Oh, that's narrow. Oh, semi pulling out too. Why was it? Oh, my fault. I really wish we could just set a void highway and I could, um, what was it just doing there? I'll have to look at the, I don't know what it was trying to do right there. You can see from the um, GoPro that you can't really see across this intersection. It's a really large hump. It's even worse from the other side. You can't see where you're going. Um, I'll try to catch that when I leave. But um, from the top camera, you can see that where the lanes go. But you just have to know where they are. Um, and if it were your first time, obviously you wouldn't know, but you'd kind of use common sense um but yeah Anyway, I wanted to um, go quickly across that intersection, so I disabled FSD, and um, yeah, so we're here. Lots of disengagements. 
at least in my neighborhood, it was one of the worst I've had in the past six months, seven months. So, yeah, I, I really hope that the next version completely changes the way it reacts to unlined roads and oncoming traffic and things like that. So maybe it can be smooth again, at least in those situations. Um, so we're coming up on our event space up here. And looks good. It's a nice sized tent. Very nice. All right, anyway, that's it. Um, Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh!